Trick moving from Joker. We are going to have Violet this thing, so this time around. Interesting. Interesting Byleth pick for the game one, right? Oh, yeah. Kind of see. I was actually thinking oh. he might try the Aegis and then Joker. No, I, I think it's kind of the same thing that happened when he faced Naitoru last time at Summit going on to Midnight. He's kind of a, hey, do you know this matchup or can I actually just give you it? That's fair. That works. So yeah, let's see right now. Going on to Battlefield for the first fight. Ooh. Yeah, this might have to be a slow-paced game. You know, both these guys aren't exactly the fastest characters on the ground. But Indeed. okay, big up tilt from Leo. Gonna get it started. Two up airs and the up B as well. Conversion into the back air. And Leo, uh, this fight is starting off hot. Bonsoir La France here. 78% already. Mkalo sending a big message facing Raptor. He explodes him in the face. Though it's already Not going already to catch. Double or nothing to happen. And he finally bailed out on his aggressive left here on the recovery. Oh no! What was that? Down with a perfect checkmate situation. There was a big fumble here on the ledge by Mkaleo. He's going to bow down to the aggressive net this time of Rathlo over the edge. Let's see how it goes now. 87% on the first stock here for the French player of BMS. There we go, catching the running pilot. The explosion is going to be missed, but the pressure is still there. Go jumping around, going, no way, another one! What is, what is actually happening, guys? Can somebody tell me? What is actually going on? Dude, I know that's come cool what did this cool What did Echo say to Rafflo? Did he say, you know what, you're <laughs> yeah, doing a good do job. Again, do Keep it again, do it again. for me. <laughs> Thank you, Echo. Thank you, Echo. <laughs> Messy Echo. <laughs> okay, moving back into the game. Alright, just more pressure on ledge. Seems like Leo does have issues getting back on the stage every time he's there. Yeah. Getting interrupted by the neutral B, Rafflo doing a good job. Zoning Leo out, gets the side B, converts oh. the neutral B. He's been doing that combo a lot. Very costly off stage, Leo can recover, but he's been taking so much damage. The up B again to the back air, doesn't Ooh. find the hit this time, but the forward air doing job this time. The distance demon is out to play. Rafflo doing a good job of keeping it in check. Yeah, but every time he goes for a grab, Glenn Callow is there to call him out, whiffing them and then punishing him. This is again a perfect timing for him to get back into the game. Unfortunately here, another axe on the ledge that's going to get punished by Rafflo, taking another good lead here into that first game. Yeah, Rafflo's been doing really well again. Honestly, Leo is able to find his back You said it was going to be clean. I did, I did, I did, I did. But I was, you know, I'm, I'm happy to admit when I'm wrong at the moment that the first game is not over. Keep it on watch for Leo to see how he gets out. Trying to go for the down air. Uh, maybe a bit of advice and get too much reward off it. But still, we're living to see another day. And you see Rafflo still has a little bit of a lead. But it's not done and out yet. Leo can come back if he gets the kill round about Just now. Just like that. Yeah, here yeah, we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, here yeah, we yeah. go. Yeah, okay. Uh, that was a good one, let's say. Only 12% on the last. Okay, for Leo, he's getting to get, he's adapting to the realm Rafflo is trying to impose on him. Just little by little, you can see that coming from one stock that was pretty far away, mm -hmm. he did manage to even things out, and there we go, another good advantage, 27%, and he still didn't get caught by one of the mixers, never mind, there we go, 57%, avoiding the explosive flame, going back onto the stage like this, no hit on the nerd, the second one is going to kill with that classic last hit, again and again, this is something that you need oh to be... Oh my like, god, another down there, but just can't find that initial hit, oh. you know, the sweet spot as well, and of of course, okay, going away, getting the grab, uh, missing it right there. And the nair from Leo, we keep saying it, so ambiguous. You never know when that last hit's gonna actually, you know, where you're gonna be set. Rafflo did a good job, the, the ledge trapping situation. Ooh, no will be new, no, no jump. jump. Drop zone there, Rafflo taking the first game. And I don't know if you saw the face cam, I mean, Leo looks surprised. Hey, Leo's looks surprised, but he, there was a huge call out here on the double jump. The moment the double jump was burned and killed, by, like cancelled by the authority call, Rafflo was there for blood. Mm -hmm. He jumped off there. He was going for the head and he didn't manage to connect that fair. So perfectly well done. Found that one opportunity to finally take the clean game. And honestly, a very good sign for the rest of this set. Absolutely. I feel like the way Rafflo You can started, say that you're désolé. Oh, absolutely. Uh, je suis désolé. Uh, okay. I feel like the way that Rafflo was playing uh, from when the first uh, stock even happened to now, even with the SD, did a really good job of just kind of maintaining, like, you know, just standing on business, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? Standing in the center yeah. stage, commanding it. If you want to go off stage, we can go off stage. If you want to meet in the middle, we can meet in the middle, in the air, wherever. I can command wherever I want. That's Pilo as a character. I feel like she excels everywhere she wants. Do you know what I mean? I you agree indeed. And you know what? He had always his phone for notes about the specific match that right. we've seen him now. He's facing him, Kaleo, so you know what to do when you're facing the best of the best. You pull out two phones. He had two <laughs> phones for notes. I got two <laughs> phones off of the... Yeah, no, I feel like Rafflo is well equipped. And again, that might be the coach work. You know, forget the SDs. Make sure you got two mobiles locked on you either side. 
Let's see again if he can pull it out again. This time PS2. Let's get back into it. This is the beginning again of the Palutena tax. The classic old one. 50%, 60% now. Nah. Oh my <laughs> god. Did he get in the reversal with the down there? That would have took, uh, taken Ruffalo's momentum into the drain. Yes, indeed. Momentum was going to bow. Ooh, okay, avoiding here. The dash again, punishing it afterwards just right now. Explosion to protect the recovery. Perfectly well done. 70% though on the first Okay, oh, Again, the last hit of Nair. You always, Come on. You always say to yourself, you know, you probably screwed at your TV. Just hold shield. But then Leo can be ambiguous with it. Drop zone with it and maybe get a grab. It's, it's a little bit of a mind game. You know what I mean? Is Ruffalo ready for it at the moment? Doesn't seem to be well equipped. Okay, still has a little bit of the percent lead, but Leo is going on and on and on. The momentum seems to be swinging in his favor right now. Left shot option gets the grab. No, indeed. And still, Ruffalo is fighting for his life. He is fighting for his life, indeed. Every time he tries to go for a mix up, Menkalo calls out the bluff and knows exactly what he's waiting, what he's going oh for. There go, just like this with that F tilt here on the timing. Perfect again. Oh my god, he knew there was a going to go for a jump. Didn't manage to punish it, but this time, down to the hot bear. We've seen it a few times already into this tournament. It works so well. Let's do it again. For a down tilt, I feel like both these guys' down tilts are criminal, but the way Leo uses it to trap your landing as soon as he's missing. Land, turns it around and gets the up air kill as well. And you see juggling with the up airs again when you're too Ooh. far away from him uh, on the vertical side. Trying to drift back with that forward air. Gets the good space in the side B as well. Really good commanding of the center stage on Leo's part. But okay, rapid jab. Push him off stage for that back air kill maybe. Maybe a down tilt. No, looking for the jab. Gets the back air right there. And Leo in a bit of trouble. Has to dodge the explosive flame. Has to dodge a neutral oh, Nearly no, dodges no, the left punish. jab. But oh my god. So much contention. Yeah, he's going to come back there. No way! He survived the down flash here. That's tremendously well for him. Getting back into the game quite well. Wow. Side B again. A clean stock ahead now for the Mexican player going back onto the stage perfect but you need to find that kill quickly right now yeah both these guys are kind of uh, over committing but at least none of them are punishing too hard for it no. but you can see the desperation in Ruffalo wants to get the grab maybe a back throw maybe something uh, just for stage control just can't find it right there gets the rapid jab and Ruffalo finally back at two stocks apiece but has been bleeding out quite a bit indeed what what cost a hundred percent against one of the best players in the world oh my god oh my god he knew the role was going he didn't like to punish it but he's going to have the chances for sure he all his reads have been perfect up yeah. to now. Not falling for the explosive flame bait as well. Either way, gets out of the way of that back air. Reflow, ever relentless with that pressure in the air, man. The air tears have been working out in Reflow's favor so well. Gets Ray out from the dash tag, gets the side B. No sweet spot though. Trying to juggle with the up edge, can't find it. And both these guys are scrapping so much on these platforms. Indeed, but you can see that Mkello is covering the zone. Oh, another time? Oh my goodness, I was scared for it. Oh, the drum was going to happen. But I was saying Mkello loves to cover the zone. Rafflo loves to hover around, and it's working so well for him. There we go, down throw, going through one afterwards. Just forcing on the ledge, and keep his calm. Going to get the punish, nope! Opportunity for the French player. All these spotters from Lair, but he is spamming that R button. Oh, but it yeah. seems to be working out for him, you know. If you can't uh, beat him, join him, obviously, of course. And Ruffalo just getting hit by that forward right now on the ledge. Now, this is Lair's time to shine. Can he do something about it? Keep him on front ledge. Has to abuse the teleport cancels. Good on Ruffalo to kind of recognize that. Nearly gets the forward air. Just going to trade, and Lair can get back to stage safely. Little by little, those trades have been good for Ruffalo because right now, both players are at keep percent. Yep. And it there's a chance for Leo to actually lose the early. Never mind. We are going to catch the jump here with the nap here. And Raflo can actually go for it now. There we go. That's a good DI. Yeah, yeah, down throw. It. Missed it. It's been a while. Down <laughs> tilt. No back air though. Trying to, uh, you know, get the reversal with the up air. But you can't challenge that invincible back air. I mean, we keep saying it. So maybe another one. There we go. You snap the legs too much. You have to remember that the more percent you got, the less invulnerable you are on the leg. Absolutely. Oh, oh my, my god, god, the down and nearly sending them off the stage. Funny, instead getting of one. Low. Finally getting one and getting any more. A bit more percent here. 70 percent. You wanna <laughs> you wanna go for it now? I can do it too. There we go. Another one here. Both players here strapping again to go for skirmishes. They wanna get an opener for a good combo. Finally catching something. No double jump here, but nothing afterwards for Rafael. Never mind going for it. But more percent here. The net not going to do anything. Unfortunately, on the shield of Leo. It's so interesting seeing uh, Leo throw out these downers, even though Ruffalo has been winning most of the air tears since the set started. I really un don't uh, understand why Leo has been so aggressive on these landings. Just wants to get something started. Maybe it's desperation. Maybe it's. 
calculated, but what definitely is calculated is that back at the sweet spot. No kill though, the down tilt into the up air, and it's one game each. I mean, Lev's back in it. Lev's back in it indeed. 51% only on his last stock. The rhythm of the game was from in the get go in the hands of Leo, and he's playing, playing with Ruffalo like he was his puppet. Moving around as he pleased, catching all his options, having good reads over and over again. This was a very good move, my dear friend. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, you know what? I, I'm still French from the moment here in that case. I, it's just really, uh, not exactly confusing, but I'm just wondering why Leo is choosing these aggressive options. But sometimes when they work out, I feel the reward is like, you know, too good to be true, so to speak. You know, why not go for it? Because if I miss it, I don't get a big punish on my flow side. But if I do hit it, you die very early. Indeed. Let's see how. This is going to be going on game three. Are we going to stay on those characters? Seems so, because again, Leo seems to have the numbers rapper right now. Now I'm wondering about the stage itself. I feel like if anyone wants to switch characters, it would be uh, Leo. No, I, sure, think, sure, I think Ruffalo is staying Halo only uh, tonight. All right, let's see how it goes right now. Now again, on both sides, I love the way they are going for the synchronizing dance in the air. Yep. But for now, it seems like Leo got more points. Ooh, oh, nice. okay. on the That's landing great. and there as well. Really good option from uh, from Reflow. Gets the rapid jab off stage. Been a really good option at kind of pushing him very horizontally. But of course, you want to talk about horizontal moves. That forward air from Bylev, such a good tool. That's a good tool indeed. But this is going to get even again. Both players going for the hits. <laughs> The fisticuffs here, one after the other, going for one hit after the other. Didn't see a lot of good screens on one side. They won, and had so much pressure on the shield. Get a back and great good punish down there, though. It's going to be pretty, pretty well done. Nair into Nair, Nair into Nair. Come on, do something else. A lot of tech chasing from, uh, from Leo with these Nairs. Really good option. The side B going to cover them as well. They're <laughs> reflecting the neutral B. Can't be too cheeky with it. You see Leo trying to flick it around, uh, trying to mess Ruffalo's vision, but can't really do too much. Avoids the side B. Gets back to ledge with that broken ass recovery. Yeah. I mean, Leo cancelled that neutral beast so many times up to now, but the only time he goes for it, Rafflo knew it was going to happen. Yep. There we go, it's pretty to regain to going back to the stage safely, going for the cancel. Nope, not on the platform, but on the late the stage normally. Now what? Going for the nair? Nope. Just going to respect the recovery. It's going to be a regrab though, and you die for the same! We're just gifting stocks out here, apparently. I don't understand, and Leo has been doing so many times. I'm thinking about all the, st the, the different sets he had against so Gluto too. Every time, he got the opportunity to give a stock with a regrab. He does it. What a chat, honestly. At, at the same time, he's still getting these down tilt up airs a lot of the time. You know, that down tilt move has been really crucial in the way Leo's been playing offense. You know, he understands the spacing, distance demon included, of course. The down air for down air, a flow getting his one to actually work this time. Uh, the last scrapping on their part, another down air out of shield, a flow. It's so relentless with this move. He kept the shield up to the last of the air though, so he's learning, he's adapting to what Leo has yeah, been doing from the beginning of the set. <laughs> Let's see now, 86% and still counting on the single side platform cancel here with the ledge. Not going to happen and uh, nothing else going to happen afterwards, unfortunately, but the pressure has been stacking on Leo here. Can he this calm? Let's see, no into dash attack. Perfectly well done. Evan in the off to by lethal. Okay, they're both fighting their time. A lot of short hops coming out. This is where the patience kind of has to you know, set in uh, for its course. And you see Leo kind of retreating back to these platforms. Just want to deal with the air-to-airs. Forward throw from a flow, trying to make sure. But, oh my god, big back air. And now Leo uh, at a deficit. A pretty substantial one, too. Nair, though, can we get the fair off stage? Up these to kind of match him with it. But now it's a flow. Reverses the Nair. Pushes there him off stage, go. gets another Nair. Is going to wait. Drop zone fair, maybe? No. Just going to go for the option with the up B from Leo. They're both going back and forth. Indeed, back and forth it is. But you can see that both of them want to end it all. They are on the ledge and not moving for it. Finally getting back onto the middle of the stage, but back onto the ledge again. Okay, sweet spot on the back end. Not going to be enough. But now, my goodness! That was perfect timing. Ah, That was actually this one. perfect. I felt this one up to my boat. Humming boat? No, oh, come on. I knew you were going to say that. My bad. <laughs> Nah, my nair is better than yours anyway, going for the down tilt maybe. There we go, don't sleep on the ledge, my dear Leo, because Rapper is going to collect you every time. Okay, interesting, then one. Going yeah. for the Noto, get up again! This guy had, he didn't roll a single time up to now when he was on the ledge. And no mix-up, mix-up seems to be working out. Yep. And okay, Leo waiting for a roll reach with the up tilt. A lot of nairs on the shield, Rafflo just never ready to see <laughs> where he can go. And he wants to get that up B to snatch him away. Rafflo not giving him the uh -oh. opportunity with the back air. Uh, it uh -oh. seems to always be in Leo's favor at the moment. The momentum is swinging. Leo in a really good position right now. Has Rafflo on the ropes? Yeah, on the ropes indeed. Going for the shield up to the very well last moment. Jab here to get the stage control, but then what? Going for the cancel on the platform. He did it again! He was
and Ruffalo just going to collect his reward down to the backer. The bread and butter of Palutena on ledge is going to give him the third game here. This is so surprising to see you know, Leo kind of just... They, these guys are gifting each other stocks. I might be real with you, bro. I don't know. Maybe like, he's so pleased to get back there. I don't know, man. I literally don't know. There's a moment everything for you, we start realizing this thing about right. the game. Even that, like, yeah, there's something going wrong. <laughs> Come on. I mean, we're not like known for being good players, right? Hey, man, I was, I'm pretty lit. No, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not, bro. <laughs> Don't ever believe me again. I, I just wouldn't understand like the down tilt's coming out from uh, from a float on the ledge, especially. I think he's understanding what Leo wants from the ledge. Very aggressive approaches. Uh, Leo's patience hasn't exactly been working out too well from at start of the set towards even now, and I feel like the float is punishing it very, very well. Indeed, and if there's one moment you want to incentivize on, this is now. Last game, maybe for Mkalo here at UFA. For now, it seems that again we have a good string going here for Rafael for the Prince of BMS. Another 60%, another pull out on the end. Keep going, my friend. 70%. Nothing after this one, but yeah, the damage has been done already. Perfectly good start of the game here for the French player. Yeah, what a way to the good catch here with the big big smash. smash. Letting the wings spread. It's the angel this time, the goddess. And Raflo is looking sublime right now. Indeed. And there we go. Another position attack. There we go. Give me 30. You 40. Give me 50. Perfect again by the Prince of BMS. Another chance. Another not to get up on ledge. And you just have to feel like he did it again. Is punishing these options a lot of the time. A lot of the time indeed. A full stock ahead here for Raflo. Can he incentivize on it? Can he keep on adding pressure? Can he force Leo to do more mistakes? This is the time to show the world what he can do, Raflo. There here, nothing afterwards, unfortunately, here for the Mexican player. The first going to be avoided back at two. Oh my god, dragging there into jam. Perfect again. Okay, going for the trick on the left, not going to happen. Unfortunately, nothing afterwards. Just feels like Leo is on the ropes at the moment. No option is, uh, you know, not being covered by Raflo. Seems to be doing anything in his path to make sure Leo cannot get his game started. Another down out of shield goes for the teleport cancel. Leo on his ledge, fighting for his life. Tries to go back in shield, but with the drag down there into the grab from Raflo. There we go, trying to get him in a true frame, not going to happen, but the pressure has been applied from the get-go, and he's not releasing his grasp up of, of, out of Blue and Kaleo here. 143% net dash, that could actually get the kill on Exploding Frame if he's not wary of them. Back throw here to get again the stage control, going here to have pressure on ledge. Now what? Going to get him, but not afterwards. No, no, no! no! What? Doing that! What is happening? There we go, okay, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen, okay? All right, bro. He needs to get these SDs out of the way. You know, he's getting a bit too many of them. And uh, Leo might be benefiting. We're back in the game coming. He's at 70%. Please don't count Leo out right now. I'm not counting out. This is why which is I am scared. There we go. Okay, the string is happening. The SDI that was correct here yep. from the side of the Leo. Leaving after a mere one near and going to punish this one here. The jab had been finished with stage on Turtle AM. Kaleo going to run around. Going for the three plus on the back here, here. And just like that, the game is even. And you just have to feel like Raflo. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Is letting the slip out of his hands uh, on his own path. I cannot believe how many SDs he's getting. Leo getting another chance in life. Okay, going for the jump between there because he knew that Rafa was going for the aggressive option here. And just like that, all the stage, all the stage control, all the control of the wall. No way. Sweet spot not going to be enough air dodge out. Going for the. Yeah. What? Oh, God. You're nasty. That you nasty. are nasty. And we're right. bringing it to a game five. And you have to feel like coming. These SDs are really taking its toll on these sets. Everything went wrong. He woke up and Kaleo with that first game. We had huge call out. He woke him up and then started getting a, sl <laughs> getting a sleep. <laughs> I mean, go on, another SD at this level of play. It just breaks all the momentum you've been building up to now. And you just gave him the win here. I, now, feel, I feel like uh, Raflo had that door locked, do you know what I mean? And for some reason, Leo just found a Spanish-speaking locksmith and said, you know what, There's the door no is not closed. Right There's now. no will open involved it. at all. Raflo just straight up gave him a key below the door. He just flipped it out. 
You know what? Reset, no matter Reset here is involved. It's going to be another game. Rathlow here is going to have to do it again. But he got the tools, he got the mental to do it. He got all the strength needed. He can do it again. Honestly, I just want to say that I admit that I was wrong. I thought it was going to be a wash. But Rathlow has been playing so, so, so hot right now. I would not be surprised if he won this 3-2. Yes, indeed. There we go. Another shark situation here. He's going to go for the ledge. Roll finally learning to roll on the ledge. I love what he's doing now. Still gets caught up by the flow. The ledge trapping has been key this whole set so far. All five games have been insane from a flow, ledge trapping wise. That is a zero to death. Never mind the narrow in the face. It's just going to give him some kind of respect. This person not going to connect with the rollout on the platform. Oh the my end. god. And the big back row is going to not be enough, unfortunately. No! But the exposing flame will get the stock and just like before Rafflow with a clean stock ahead here over the last the, the previous the winner the previous sheet obviously 2019 can he take the king can he take the king out can he take his crown but of course gets the backer as well from the down throw Leo in a world of hurt right now nowhere to go how many times can you say that Palu has been led trapping Leo to hell well at least two times in that game no what? Square in the air right now, MK Leo giving it a start for free for Raplo on what may be his last game here at Raplo <laughs> 23. This is just incomprehensible. How is this happening? What is going on? Why are we SDing so much? But either, uh, either way, regardless, the set is still going on. Raplo doesn't have anything to stop right right now. The red light is not showing right now. It's all green on PS2 and Raplo means business. Indeed, the upload means business right now. He can just use all the projectiles to just ramp up damage little by little. He can just force a Kaleo into the corner again, adding pressure on him, and then go for the kill at 100%. He got the tools to close the whole game and force him to approach. Okay. Okay, the Nair out shield, bad Nair for Vitus, of course. Okay, the down shield to the up air. That's one humming. That's that just one. That is one indeed, and it's going to be hard for Rathlos Mantle if he were to get reversed at this situation here. But he's not done yet. He can actually go for the kill quickly, okay, as long as wary of the callout of M. Kaleo. It's starting to happen, don't I feel like. I don't know, I don't know, man. Fab, I feel like I can see something. Fabs, please. I mean, we invited you so many times. Can you, for once, be friends? Hold there on! Go. Go very far away. He can't get back on the stage. Yes, he can. Thank be God. Be wary. You asked this so many times. If Please, just get back on stage, Raflo. You don't want to give Leo anything more. There we go already. 111% 11, here. Maybe another. <gasps> that just was a grab. grab. That was a grab option here. Going to go to cancel on the platform here. Going to run around, avoiding what he can. But he's going to keep his calm. Going to play it very slow. Up to the very end. Take in perfect, avoiding the dash attack. Now what? Back there. It's going to add more percent. Where are you going? Are you kidding me, guys? Twitch chat, please help me. What is happening? We are gifting stocks for free. Leo is not down and out just no. yet. One, two, Raflo advancing 3-2 over Leo. The baguettes are going crazy. The baguettes are going crazy. And Kaleo here with a proper set is going to go down to the little prince of France. The king is down, long with the prince. I was getting angry. I was getting, I was <laughs> so getting was angry. I, so was I. I've so never <laughs> seen someone give so many stocks like Dude, this be two sets. I think half of the stocks were done with a skip. Insane. And again here, everyone cheering for Leo, everyone cheering for Raflo. This is the French crown at its finest. Absolutely. We respect the play from both players. We, re we respect the presence from both players. They've been offering us a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> now, jokes aside, guys, I think the way that Raflo played that whole set, regardless of the SDs and the gift, Dude, uh, was just really strong. He, he I've out. never seen someone <laughs> ledge-trap Leo that much. That was bellissimo. Again, Leo was kind of like constant on his option. You knew yep. exactly what you were going for. And it took him around three games to finally learn that you can use the trigger on ledge <laughs> to roll. 
And when he did that, that kind of changed a few things here and there. But up to this point, Ruffalo was just feeding himself with those, like, no troll get up, with those nerves, with those, sorry, jump on ledge. He was just getting into it every time, ramping up damage and even taking stock and single down to the back and doing the job every single time. And a lot of the things as well is that, uh, as well as that, the nair uh, from Leo, right, from Byleth, was hitting Ruffalo a lot of time. He wasn't exactly ready for the, that deceptive part. We kept saying it, but the difference was, even on the tech 